The Patriots have traded former first-round receiver Nikhil Harry to the Chicago Bears. They traded him to the Bears for a 2024 seventh-round pick. And after being drafted in the first round, in three years with New England, Nikhil Harry made 57 catches for 598 yards and four touchdowns. That's three years worth of work and and not much to show for it. That's less than one season worth of work for many, many receivers. And uh, I was hopeful when they drafted him. He was a 32nd overall pick in 2019. He showed a lot of talent at Arizona State. And I was like, hey, this is going to be Tom Brady's new weapon. Let's go. Awesome. They finally got him a stud receiver. And it didn't work. Um, I almost wonder if it had been a home run would Tom Brady have maybe been more enticed to stay in New England? Like, if he, if he had this crazy good receiver with the Patriots, would he have even wanted out of New England? Would he have been willing to make it work? Who knows? Those are questions we'll never know, never know the answer to. But uh, Nikhil Harry was drafted ahead of DK Metcalf, Terry McLaurin, A.J. Brown, and didn't really turn into anything. It's kind of a it's a massive, massive disappointment if you're a Patriots fan. And New England trading away Nikhil Harry for basically nothing. A seventh round pick in not next year's draft, but the year after next. That feels like an admission of, yeah, this didn't really work out. At all, by the way. And they did free up like a million dollars of salary cap space by getting rid of him. But it's a it's a disappointing admission of failure, really, if you're a Patriots uh, person. And the most brutal thing you can say about Nikhil Harry is that in the last year alone... Last year, 2021, Jacoby Myers caught more passes for more yards than Nikhil Harry did in three years. So Jacoby Myers was an undrafted free agent receiver signed in 2019, the same year Nikhil Harry was drafted. So while Nikhil Harry was a first round pick in three years, Nikhil Harry put up 57 catches for 598 yards in just last year alone, just one year, an undrafted free agent receiver, Jacoby Myers had 83 catches for 866 yards. I mean... It's kind of pathetic. It's very, very sad. And I I don't want to... I don't know. It just didn't work for Nikhil Harry. For Chicago, um, I like this trade a lot because it's very low risk and could be high reward. Nikhil Harry is physically gifted and you never know. A change of scenery could do him well. I was very critical of Chicago for not supporting their young quarterback, Justin Fields, this offseason. I thought, you know, they got a defensive-minded head coach. They got rid of Khalil Mack. They... Lost Allen Robinson. Hey, Nikhil Harry, that's better than nothing. I mean, maybe a fresh start for Chicago, uh, a fresh start in Chicago could be good for Nikhil Harry. And he is six foot four. He's only 24 years old. Like I said, maybe he does well. There's a chance at Nikhil Harry. Um, who knows why he didn't work in New England, but maybe he works well in Chicago. But it's a decent shot in the dark for the Bears. And for New England, frankly, it's an embarrassing admission of failure. You drafted him in the first round, and you got rid of him for a seventh round pick two years from now. It's it's a not a it's a very unflattering look for the Patriots, but uh, I guess they cleared some salary cap space. And uh, like I said, I, for Justin Fields, I'm excited because this is one of the first moves the Bears have made all offseason. Where I'm like, hey, they're getting something, anything at all for their young quarterback, and we'll cross our fingers, we'll we'll, we'll pray to whatever Chicago Bears god there is, and say maybe that. Maybe Nikhil Harry turns into a star receiver for the Chicago Bears. I am skeptical of that. I'm doubtful of that. But there is a chance, and let's admit it. Um, but the real story here is that the Patriots had a first-round receiver that did not at all live up to their expectations.